Hi! Today I'll show a homemade contactless digital tachometer that not only gauge the revolution per minute of a rotating shaft but also may be used in a balancing rig. A tachometer is useful to know the rotational speed of a motor or any other rotor such as a propeller, a wheel and so on. Before giving a look at the circuit and the construction, let's understand the theory of operation that is relatively simple. A photoelectric probe detects a non-reflective marker placed on a rotating shaft. The number of times this marker is seen over a time frame unit is the frequency, the number of the revolutions per time unit. Put under other terms, the time passed between two pulses generated by the marker gives the period of the frequency. I have discovered, and you will see that later in the video, that balancing is tricky. For balancing, a pressure sensor detects the pressure exerted by the unbalanced mass while the shaft is spinning. When the mass is rotated around an axis, it would cause a centrifugal force given by the mass by its distance from the axis center, that is the radius, and by the angular velocity omega. Therefore, at the point where the pressure sensor is located, the force will vary in relation to the angular position of the unbalanced mass by the time required to make a full revolution. And this angle can be calculated taking as a reference the position of the marker. Thus, the instant the marker is detected over the time the mass takes to reach the sensor is in relation with the angle theta first and uh, the angle theta can be calculated by adding the angle phi at which the sensor is located in respect to the photo detector. To sense this pressure I've used these two piezoelectric transducers that I've used as a gradient pressure detectors. Other sensors can be used for this job and uh, an intuitive velocity sensor would have been better suited for this application. But, you know, I have these nice piece of discs. This has been sandwiched in two pieces of scrapped PCB with epoxy glue and soft rubber. A thick metallic disc is placed in the middle to transmit the pressure by passing the thickness of the connecting cable. So, let's see the circuit. The pressure sensor's signal goes to an amplifier that decouples the high impedance input into an amplified uh, output uh, low impedance output suited to drive the analog inputs of the microcontroller that runs the program and display the information. It is a simple non-inverting operational amplifier. The variable resistor a potentiometer lets adjust the gain about from about 1.22 to a maximum of 10. The two short guide diodes uh, have the function to clip positive voltages in excess or negative voltages coming from the sensor and uh, the 10 kilo ohm uh, resistor in input reduces the amount uh, of current uh, that flow that will flow through the diodes as a controlling unit i use this lcdg a combo display and controller at the controller the two analog inputs are connected to the amplifiers uh, that uh, amplify the signals coming from the tra piezoelectric transducer. Uh, the other one, the other operational amplifier, is not represented here for, sim for simplicity. On the input 2 that is under interrupt, uh, the photo detector is connected, and uh, here arrives the power supply, and here the keyboard. To cope with the maximum frequency for this tachometer, 1000 Hz, I removed a capacitor on the input where the photoelectric sensor will be connected, and I've made a little change to connect the second analog input to. The program has been made using the application wizard for the NSC framework that manages events and other features such as displaying texts, selections and graphics. For more information about that framework, please check out my previous videos. I selected the interrupt 2 from the input 2 of the LCDG, the click and long click events to manage the keyboard and the software timer 0, 1 and 2. Also I have selected some other options such as the rising age for the interrupt.
Next step will be in the workshop to build the hardware, but first let's have a look at how the software works. I've made this diagram to help understand how the program works. A gate signal is used to sequence the counting of the pulses or the time and to display the results. At the beginning the gate is closed. The interrupt event is fired when a pulse arrives from the photo detector and when in frequency mode, if the gate is open, it increases the frequency counter. While when in time mode, if the gate is closed, this is opened allowing the time counter under the millisecond cycle routine to increase. In this state, within the mind loop extension routine, the peak of the pressure signal read from the analog inputs is recorded with the time lapse till that moment. The next time the interrupt event is fired, because the rotor has completed its round, the gate is found open and uh, so the time count and pressure levels uh, and the related time are used to calculate the speed and angle pressure and the gate is put in white state and the timer 0 is set to delegate the display of the calculated values in an external process so that the interrupt and other time critical routines are not delayed. In addition, the events click and long click are used to manage the keyboard and timer 3 in conjunction with the events long click and input uh, is used for handling the type medic feature and uh, the timer 2 event is used to time out the gate. The handling system handles the events, uh, the backlight of the display, the functions to print texts and bars and uh, other background things. And uh, here it is the finished uh, instrument. Uh, the power supply comes from here and uh, through the switch uh, goes to the uh, LCDG and MCU um, controller. 
and uh, from here the 5 volt uh, goes to the uh, amplifier that uh, amplify the signals so the analog signals coming from the two piezoelectric sensors and here the, the analog signal amplified analog signals goes to goes to the MCU and here the photoelectric couple that he used to read the reflection of the shaft of the motor to count the RPM the signal goes to uh, the input uh. in the next part uh, you will see the instrument under test uh, reading speed and why balancing is a tricky task so stay tuned for the next part uh, the video will be up at the end of the next week in the meanwhile I'd like to hear from you so don't be bashful to comment uh, also don't forget to share like and subscribe thanks for watching see you next time